guys in this video I want to show you basic materials you need for string art first thing you need is wood um, I like these 8 by 11 sheets that are already pre-cut um, they have a nice border to them and they're pretty cheap they're about four to five dollars at Walmart um, they're very easy to stain and the sticker just comes right off so this is this is perfect now, this is a one just like this that I already stained as you can see, it looks very, very nice. Good finish on those. Uh, then you have smaller pieces. These pieces I get, I get uh, at Michael's, and these are a dollar each. And of course, you can stain it. These are pine. You can stain it with any sort of color you like. They have round and square. There's another one. This is the, um, it's an Art Mines plaque. Like I said, they're a dollar. And the wood, when you stain it, it comes out really nice. And then, of course, you can buy big pieces of wood, like this uh, back table that I have on, uh, here, and cut it to whatever piece you desire. Home Depot actually cuts them for you if you like. These I cut here at home on a table saw that I have. So, wood is important. So then, after the wood, you need to stain it or you need to paint it. There's different options with that. You can use wood stains. This one's a good one. I have all sorts of colors. You can also use acrylic paint. Any type of acrylic paint would work. Or spray paint. I have all the colors in spray paint. I have all the acrylics and it just depends what medium you wanna work with. I have this piece right here that I did a little bit ago. And this is an acrylic uh, background that I did. And then this is just white string. So it depends on the medium you want to use, but they all work very well. The stains, of course, give it a more rustic look. Then you need nails. Now the nails are, there's many options out there. I like to use the 18 and 3 quarters. They are smooth shank and they're stainless steel. If you do a piece that you want to put outdoors, you want to make sure it's stainless steel so the nails don't rust. And these are about one to two dollars, depending on when you get them. There's different brands, but they all work the same. Of course, you need a hammer. I like this one myself. It's a seven ounce tack hammer. It's a small um, end over here, and I put a little bit of tape, painter's tape, just so if I have a nail, I have to get out. It doesn't damage my surface when I'm working. The hammer is very important. If it's a heavy hammer, it's going to be very heavy on your hands when you're nailing them, uh, when you're nailing the nails. Um, but this one works pretty good and it wasn't that expensive. And then you need what it is you're going to do, what piece you're going to do. You need stencils. These I get basically offline anywhere. You get your the item you want to do. Sometimes you can in um you can print out a poster size on a picture from um, Word Art. If not, you can just print it on 8x11 sheet. And then like this little dachshund that I did, I don't know if you can see the holes. And then you just put this on the piece of wood that you want to do. And then you nail. You, I make my pre-nail, I pre-nail it first, then I take it off. And then I'll have the holes and then you put the nails back in and then of course you string it. So this is important. These are all pieces I've done. I just finished this one, Idaho. I did a couple hearts in there. But this is the easiest part. You can print it off anywhere or get any sort of poster size or whatever it is that you want to do. And then I have a couple of their miscellaneous items. Of course you need nail. Uh, well, nails, yes, but you do need scissors. I have these little ones. They're tiny. I don't like the big scissors because my thread is small. So you want to make sure that you're not, you know, using big scissors to cut something you don't need to cut. So I have these little ones. Of course, I have thread. Now I use a uh, fine crochet thread. I like it because it's thin. As you can see, it's very thin and it's very, very strong. They have all sorts of colors. I get these at Michael's. Um, Walmart has them too. They're about two to three dollars, but
but as you can see they have a lot a lot of thread in them for three dollars it's worth its money so and I like working with thin thread the, the thicker thread has too much I don't know I just don't like how that looks with the pieces of course I have my measuring tape make sure you know when you put something that it's accurate with size then here I have um, this glue when you tie your knots on your thread I glue them just to make sure that it will not come apart so this jewelry um, and metal glue it's about four to five dollars I get it at Walmart also it might be a, a bit much for the thread but I'll tell you what it's not going anywhere so I definitely recommend using glue no matter what you do uh, at the end or at the beginning those beginning knots make sure you put a little bit of glue so it doesn't come apart then I also have this pen it's an acrylic water base um, just so when you're done you can do a signature if you notice on this one if you want to sign your pieces this uh, pen is really fine tip it works really really good and it does not come off even though it's acrylic so this one works very well and then lastly I have um, these are sawtooth hangers they're small I believe I got these at Walmart um, I know they weren't too expensive but I don't remember the price and there's um, it doesn't say okay 25 pieces so these come with the nails also in them so this is a very good um, thing to buy for example in the back of the pieces you can put it right there and then it has the two little um, nails so you can hang your pieces so these are the basic materials that you need as you can see I just finished these two these are some orders for customers so you can see the nails um, you can't really see the glue but I put glue on this end here and this end here on this one where I finished um, where I finished them and then there's the back the, the tall tooth hanger and these hold up to 10 pounds easily so they are really really good all right if you have any questions let me know happy stringing